Hi everybody, um, uh, the updates for this week is the executive committee met yesterday and approved a couple of small innovative grants. Um, one to Ann Carlson Center to expand their DSP national certification program to help uh, recruit and also retain good employees. It's been proving really successful. So they're trying to expand it across all Ann Carlson cities serviced in the state. Um, we also approved a grant for a rise above. It's a nonprofit that works with immigrant families in Grand Forks, and they're going to try to um, improve their well-being and inclusion in their communities through trainings um, and converting um, documents to other languages and hosting group sessions for new families and new immigrants in that area. We also had a health ambassadors grant, um, but we have some follow-up questions for them, so that was not um, approved at this time. And also Spirit of Wonder Horse Therapy um, is going to do uh, horse therapy in the Dickinson area and they asked for funds for supplies and some office rent. Um, so I'm following up with them to talk with them about that project. And um, it's pretty neat that we are getting applications to expand to new Americans, immigrant populations, um, people who speak other languages. It's, it's really cool to see that expansion that also have disabilities. So reaching a population that's probably very underserved. So it's it's fun to see. Um, I will also be sending with the February meeting materials that'll be coming out shortly, um, some proposed um, informal requests for proposals concerning housing, inclusive childcare, and um, employment of people with disabilities. So providers to change um, maybe less of a sheltered workshop situation, more um, meaningful employment, customized employment, or having people um, have meaningful days. So funds for that. So you'll see those come out to review for the meeting for us to discuss at our meeting in February. I'm also sending information from the North Dakota Housing and Finance Agency. They um, contacted me for feedback. They put out their um, rules or their proposal for universal design elements in housing units. So if you could review that and send your comments to me and we'll just send one comment back from council members to Joe. So I put the, I will put that in the um, email for you to review. Also, um, economic assistance has a self-service portal for signing up for services that they released about a year ago, but they want to pilot with users to make sure it's actually user friendly. Um, so they're going to start meeting with our all groups and doing one on one trainings, walking through the portal system, seeing what really is working and not working within the system. So we're going to start having a series of events um, when we have all meetings and having them come and I will help. Um, them, the person log on and then they will, the Deloitte is who is the um, administrator of the system is going to walk through with that individual and practice. And then they're gaining feedback on that system. So I just put some information in there too for you on that. Otherwise, um, have a wonderful week and I will be getting February meeting materials ready and out the door for you shortly. And as always, the Teams channel has meeting minutes, the recordings, that kind of thing that you can refresh your memory with too. So have a great week.